the sixth graders at Crestview Elementary in Convoy, Ohio, wish to thank the friends of this broadcast for their generous local support of our edition of News 6. Welcome to this week's edition of News 6. Today's program is brought to you by the 6th grade class of Crestview Elementary. Crestview is located in Convoy, which is in Van Wert County. Near the Old Lincoln Highway, our town has a population of about 1,200 people. Some people like living in the present while others enjoy activities from a past time. One lady creates a beautiful blend of both past and the present for everyone to enjoy. Linda Keller reports. Hi there, I'm Lena Kelly. There is a lady in our community who keeps the lost star alive. Mrs. Corinne Snyder has been sharing the lost star of spinning with our community for years. I like spinning wool because it, it satisfies me. It makes me feel good to do it. I like to feel it in my hands. I have spun uh, flax and uh, I have some cotton that I really haven't worked on it yet, but I bought some cotton and I have a plan to spin that too. It's a real art to be able to use the spinning wheel. I thought it was kind of hard at first, but it got a little bit easier as I went along. This is a Saxony wheel that I have here, and it was probably invented in early 17th century, and maybe even before that. But uh, the pioneers did have this kind of this style, actually, the Saxony wheel. Mrs. Snyder does many things to turn the wool into yarn. Well, the first thing we do is go out and buy it from a farmer that has sheep, and um, it usually takes place in the spring when they have sheared the sheep. And then we wash it. I usually wash a kettle full at, at a time. And then I uh, pick all the chaff out of it afterwards. And, and then I card the wool and then it's ready to spin. This is Lena Kelly reporting for News 6. are feeling restless, we want to burn off some energy and have fun, but where to go? Reporter Kelsey Warmer has the answer, which she found near the edge of the woods. Hi, my name is Kelsey Warmer. When we want to have fun and play sports, we head on over to Edgewood Park. Yeah! The idea for the park came from a group of community leaders about 25 years ago. The idea of the park came in 1974 and it was a bunch of the community leader, leaders seen a need for it as we only had one ball time at the time and we never had any practice facilities for the kids. The only thing that we ever got done was playing, just playing games. It was built between 1975 and 1980 and it was built mostly by no data labor. Edgewood Park has some really cool sports facilities. They are four ball diamonds, two basketball courts, two tennis courts, a uh, pond for kids to fish in, a trap shoot, three horseshoe courts, and then they also play soccer out here in the fall. I would say the majority of the people that use it are the children, but we do have adults who do walk out here. They play shuffleboard on Tuesday mornings, every morning out here. We also have a community building, which, which was added in 1988, which we have wedding receptions, graduation parties, uh, reunions, class reunions, family reunions. Some of those are scheduled five years in advance. Our community was even involved in naming the park. Uh, we had a name of the park contest and Brian Duncan, one of the local residents, 
He named the park, uh, and his idea came from because it was on the edge of Convoy, and it had a wooded area in the back. That's how he came up with it, Edgewood Park. It gives uh, a lot of people a place to meet. It gives the kids the opportunity to play. And it's just, you know, where people can have a good time. This is Kelsey Warmer reporting for News 6. Today's Kids Week question is, if you could do anything for a day, what would you do and why? I'd go to Cedar Point because it is my favorite amusement park. I would be principal for a day because it seems like a cool job. I would go to Hollywood so I can see all my favorite movie stars. I would go to Six Flags and do anything I want. I would go to Disney World Florida because it's hot there and it has a lot of water parks. This is our elementary office. This is our secretary, Mrs. Kavanaugh. This is where she takes messages when kids are sick and need homework. This is just inside the doors of our school. Behind us is a beautiful wall painting. It is here for everyone who comes in to enjoy. This is our elementary gym for kindergarten through sixth grade. This is where we learn how to play sports and have fun. We also have junior high volleyball and basketball games in here. This is the elementary computer lab. This is where we work on keyboarding skills. We also type reports and stories in the lab. That was a special inside look at Crestview Elementary. At one time, our area was inhabited by Indian nations, such as the Shawnee and Miami. Today they're gone, but parts of the culture remain. P reporter Spencer Short talks with a man who has discovered many Native American treasures. Hello, I'm Spencer Short, and we're going to meet someone who collects things from the past. Mr. George Watt collects Native American arrowheads and other artifacts. Well, I started when I was quite young. I found one when I was working in the field, and that uh, was fascinating to me, and I never forgot that. His collection has arrowheads from different time periods when Native Americans were around these parts. My arrowhead collection comprises of probably 300 uh, items. find the arrowheads out in the field. Some days you don't find any. If you find two or three nowadays, it's, it's quite, uh, quite uh, unusual, I would say. This is the one that I found. The arrowheads came from many of the Native American nations from around the area. The different tribes were the Miamis, the Shawnees, and the Ottawa that I can mention right now. The most exciting was uh, finding a uh, nice three-quarter groove axe. The collection, I have no value, but uh, I wouldn't sell it for uh, $5,000 right now. This is Spencer Short reporting for News 6. That's all for this edition of News 6. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week for more news from around Northwest Ohio. See ya! The sixth graders at Crestview Elementary in Convoy, Ohio, wish to thank the Friends of this broadcast for their generous local support of our edition of News 6.